Welcome back, fellow producers, to another Top Sounds tutorial over here at TopSoundsAudio.com. This is the first tutorial of 2020. Welcome to a new year, a new decade. Uh, you could say a new millennium, whatever. Although some people say the new millennium doesn't start till 2021. Anyways, regardless, today we're going to get into it. We're going to make a sad guitar type beat in the style of Lil Peep, uh, Lil Tracy, Bones, you know what I mean? The entire underground emo collective slash, you know, uh, got boy click collective, whatever you want to label it as. It's just a sad guitar type beat. Um, we have a sample loaded up right now in Ableton. And this is a part of the, uh, let me load up the kit. This is a brand new kit brought to you by Lord Ghost. This kit is called Mr. Frost. Hold on, I'm trying to find it on here. Here we go. Mr. Frost. And the sample, there's over like 16 guitar samples. ton of different hats kicks even got midi melodies on there snaps 808s whatever you name it so we're going to use this kit to create this beat today um, here's the main loop we have loaded up right now it's at 97 bpm so let's go ahead and put that in 97 bpm and if it doesn't load up to how you want it to, first let's, let's, let's listen to it. And we're going to bring this marker up here, loading this up, turn on loop points. So it'll loop automatically as we listen to it. Um, and off the bat, I already hear that we need to go in here and just chop a little bit from the front. So right there and if wrap isn't on you won't be able to do this so if wraps off you won't be able to double click on anything like that so we're going to turn on warp my bad not wrap warp um, and we're going to find that point so it needs to be chopped just a little bit and then we'll bring this one over to we're just looking at the main um, high points so we can listen to it with the uh, uh, metronome on which is you click up here to turn on the metronome so what we're going to want to do is make sure we get all these points loaded up into the correct time signature so there's half there's a full bring that over a little bit and if you see these little gray arrows on there, sometimes it automatically finds them for you. Just off the brilliance within Ableton. Since we dragged it, it's going to be cut a little short, so we're going to want to drag that over just a little bit. Um, keep this one in play there, so it won't shift the whole thing. Hold down Alt and you'll be able to move it to your advantage.
right now so it all sounds fluent and it's a perfect loop. Cool, all right, I like that. Um, now we're gonna go under plugins, audio effects, and we're gonna go to uh, what I like to use mostly on just a quick EQ3, put it on there. Um, cut down the gain on the low. Turn the highs up a little bit. And then we'll double click it again, we'll turn it up. So now that that's in play, we can mess with the transpose and try to see if we like it at a different pitch. I don't really know how I feel about that. Let's turn the uh, tempo up a little bit to like 100. So the higher you put the tempo up sometimes as it's on warp mode, um, it'll make that little choppy sound. So you're gonna have to, or how you put the pitch up, I guess, you're gonna have to turn the tempo up to accommodate that. I like that a lot more. Um, so now that we have that in play, let's go ahead and go back to the drum kit. And let's add some hats. Turn this little headphone on so you can preview it. It's the monitor uh, button. And basically, we're just gonna put some basic hats in. So we can stop using the metronome. Let's delete that because we need it to be a perfect chop. down a little bit give it a little bit of reverb which is you're sending using it the send right here so if you go over to the mixer and you use uh, the send a is the reverb send b is the delay so double click on the delay and we're going to switch this to a four time signature as opposed to every three and then we'll cut this filter on down here and we'll turn this down just a little bit like that so if we turn the delay on, gives it a slight little clap back or a slight little delay back. Not too much since the filter's on, you know, it kind of cuts it out at a certain frequency. So that sounds good like that. Um, let's add another type of hat.
this one. We'll use that one. Every third like that. Or every other one, I mean. Again, we use the delay, send it to the delay, and send it to the reverb. We'll give this one a little more reverb. We'll add another hat. We'll put this one at the end of every other quarter bar. So turn that down. Reverb up a lot, delay up, turn that way down though. Now that's in play. Um, we can come back and add some more hats later, but let's move on to some open hats. Start it out with one of these. Transpose it down to negative five, turn the volume down a little bit. Reverb up. Delay up, turn the delay up pretty much all the way. And then we'll turn these ones down. That one to negative six and this one down to like negative 10. Let's move on to a snare. This is a classic snare, we gotta use it. As you notice, it's not chopped the right amount. So, we'll uh, warp it and we'll drag it over like that. So now it's on time perfectly. And we'll add reverb to it, slight delay. Turn the volume or the gain down. And we're gonna add a backup snare just to give it some body and some more bounce. Turn it down, this one's gonna be in the background though. Turn the reverb up, turn the delay up. Turn it down. All right, and now let's see where we're gonna place this. I say after it. subtle in the background and then we'll add one of these and we're gonna pitch this one down turn this one in the background too. reverb up delay up turn the delay down a little bit on this one actually to save it always control save after you do anything um, we're going to cut out a little bit more of the uh, sample itself just because uh, we're gonna add a baseline and we don't want it protruding and clashing with the baseline and just muddying the mix so we're gonna add another EQ um, this one oopsie 
<laughs> All right, we're not swapping that effect out. But we will add an EQ8 just to give more control over the low end. plugins and we're gonna go well this this is one of my favorite plugins um, but it's an FL stock plugin we're using it in Ableton though so it's GMS I like GMS a lot just because of the one in particular uh, preset that they have in every single GMS um, for like every single edition of FL that's ever came out. It's called the Reese Bass. This is where it originated at. Play a little bit of it. Classic and like Witch House and stuff. Um, and also really classic and a lot of little peep stuff, if you notice. Um, but the way that it's mixed or smoke a sack mix the, the Reese Bass, you kind of cut off the high end so it's more the low end stuff. Um, which I kind of already did in this preset. It's the uh, Frankie Rose bass. I'll turn that down a little more. And then we're going to EQ that also. So we're going to put an EQ8 over it. Let's give it that more little peep feel. Sad boy bass. Crying in the back of the club. Um, so let's just match that right now with the uh, with the sample. We're just gonna solo both the sample and the other way we're gonna find the right tone for it. tough time trying to hear it. I'm just playing through my headphones I really really make beats in these headphones that I'm wearing right now so um, if you can, can't really tell the true tone of it what you usually need to do is bring it up a couple of octaves an octave or two um, so that makes it a little easier let's try that It's not selected any notes, but the piano roll is actually selected. And then Control A to select everything. Control U, quantize, and then it'll snap to grid automatically. Zoom out, chop that at four, bring that over to four. Perfect on time. Now what we're missing. 
missing is a kick. So let's try one of these kicks. I like this kick. too much there we need some air between them and if you ever feel like your snare isn't hitting hard enough but you don't want to keep raising the volume on it um, one of the favorite one of my favorite things to use is a, a drum bus um, use this on snares use this on kicks it basically just beefs it up it's like the stock version of uh, Sausage Fattener. some FX. Yep. Yep. These are cool to use. Uh, put this on and then we're going to warp it and we're going to Put it right on time. Make sure that it all lines up like we did earlier. Turn it way down. And then we'll add one of these on there as well. Turn that bitch way down. Reverb it. Other effects at the end. Just super in the background. Um, and now, once we have all that in play, like the only thing we're really missing now is percussion, so we can add some percussion stuff. but that's a cool sound I like that warp it bring it over
switch those down. Actually pitch them up, they sound better up, and we're just going to consolidate them so they're all one. <coughs> And then we will add a bunch of reverb to it. And then add an EQ3 over it. And turn the low end down. That's in play. I'm just going to sequence the beat out. Okay, and now let's see how we want to start this. Cut out everything but the hats and the... Oh yeah, I forgot one main ingredient that we're gonna need. Uh, we'll move that over there to start it off like that. Let's go back to the Mr. Frost kit and we'll go under crashes. Keep that crash turned down in the background. Reverb. Um, sequence or uh, warp it. It's warped. Put it on here. Oops. Copy, paste, and then we will reverse it. Put it at negative five transpose just because it'll fit perfectly. This one will turn down to negative five as well. And then we'll keep that back to back. Consolidate those together. Percussion though, and yeah, we'll just leave it like that. trick I'm going to show you before we finish this beat up is you're going to duplicate this, bring it down to its own uh, channel, bring it over to where it'll line up with this, to half of this other sample on sample. Let me just solo both of those so you get an idea of what it'll sound like. Um, double click this so it brings up that. And then we'll turn up, we'll transpose it up to, what's that, what, three? So then you'd be like nine, I think. It'll need to be 
10 because it's transposed up three. Just do it to where it'll sound. It'll sound like it matches up at a higher octave and then we'll turn it down and put a bunch of reverb on it. And then we're gonna add a little bit of reverb to this main one up here, but we're gonna use um, instead of the stock reverb, I like this reverb a lot. Um, Spy Air. It's the air reverb right there. It's a really solid reverb. It just sounds nice and airy. And the, the entire um, design is just nice, so. I mean, you can accomplish this with any reverb, it's just a lot quicker with the air reverb, so. We'll copy that to this also. Sound like it's matching up. Hold on, let me hear that back. Fifteen. We'll do fifteen instead of ten. effect we can do I know I keep saying it's the last one but this is the last effect I'll show you so once that's copied over we'll bring this down Actually, it goes by every three, so it'd be, it'd be negative six for positive six. It would be negative 12 for positive 12 as far as semitones. But uh, since we pitched it up three, I'm just trying to do the math in my head. Just, I'm playing it by ear also. Consolidate that. And then consolidate that. All right, now both are consolidated. We'll open that up and we'll fade that out like that. And we'll open up this one down here and we'll fade this one in. If you can't figure out exactly what it needs to be at... Uh, 
It just doesn't sound right. So what we're gonna do here, let's undo that. Undo the fade. And then undo the consolidation. We'll reset those back at zero. Or three. And then we will use good old halftime. Can't go wrong with halftime, honestly. But we'll reconsolidate these now. And then we'll fade in and fade out one last time. Fade out. Fade in. master that's the tempo track volume And there you have it. That's how you make your um, little peep, sad guitar type beat. Um, yeah, use these tips to improve your, improve your workflow and start making some bangers. Head over to topsoundsaudio.com and go cop this kit. This kit is called the none other than Mr. Frost drum kit by Lord Ghost. So go check that kit out. Um, has a ton of sounds you can use, has a bunch of MIDI melodies, the samples are nuts too, percussion, everything is usable, everything, none of it's really recycled, it just sounds really good, so head over to topsoundsaudio.com, thanks for watching the tutorial, leave a comment, like, subscribe if you enjoy this, and share it with your friends, alright, later guys.